Salesforce PD-1 Certification Dumps. 41. Which two events need to happen when deploying to a production org? Choose two answers. A. All triggers must have some test coverage. B. All Apex code must have at least 75% test coverage. C. All visual flows must have at least 1% test coverage. D. A. L. L. Workflow rules must have at least 1% test coverage. Answers. A. All triggers must have some test coverage. B. All Apex code must have at least 75% test coverage. 42. How can a developer check the test coverage of auto-launched flows before deploying them in a change set? A. Use the code coverage setup page. B. Use the Apex test result class. C. Use the flow properties page. D. Use Sokol in the tooling API. Answer. D. Use Sokol in the tooling API. 43. What are three considerations when using the add invocable method annotation in Apex? Choose three answers. A. A method using the add invocable method annotation can have multiple input parameters. B. A method using the add invocable method annotation must define a return value. C. Only one method using the add invocable method annotation can be defined per Apex class. D. A method using the invocable method annotation can be declared as public or global. E. A method using the invocable head annotation must be declared as static. Answers. C. Only one method using the invocable method annotation can be defined per Apex class. D. A method using the invocable method annotation can be declared as public or global. E. A method using the invocable head annotation must be declared as static. 44.de developer created a custom order management app that uses an Apex class. The order is represented by an order and an order item object that has a master detail relationship to order. During order processing, an order may be split into multiple orders. What should a developer do to allow their code to move some existing order item records to a new order record? A. Add without sharing to the Apex class declaration. B. Select the Allow Reparenting option on the Master Detail Relationship. C. Create a junction object between order item and order. D. Change the Master Detail Relationship to an external lookup relationship. Answer. C. Create a junction object between order item and order. 45. A developer migrated functionality from JavaScript remoting to a Lightning Web component and wants to use the existing get opportunities method to provide data. Which modification to the method is necessary? A. The method must be decorated with cacheable equals true. B. The method must be decorated with aura enabled. C. The method must return a string of a serialized JSON array. D. The method must return a JSON object. Answers. A. The method must be decorated with cacheable equals true. 47. A developer writes a trigger on the account object on the before update event that increments account field. A workflow rule also increment the account field every time that an account is created or updated. The field update in the workflow rule is configured to not reevaluate workflow rules. What is the value of the count field if an account is inserted with an initial value of 0, assuming no other automation logic is implemented on the account? A. 4 B. 2 C. 3 D. 1 Answers C. 3 For more information visit this site www.salesforcestart.com